Hold on, I'm good now. I'm good now. You can hear me. All right, now we so can hear it. you. <laughs> we thought we thought God. the weather was getting you over there, or something, man. Yeah, you know it's, it's a rainy day. Ice. <laughs> One of them grind days, you know? Yes, How indeed. Hey, man, you know, I'm feeling good, man. I went out, played me some more golf today. You know, me, me and I, you got to get it in on Monday. Shout out to the homie pulling up to the golf event, man. You had a chance yes, to sir. meet. You had a chance to meet Deke, too, man. That was that was cool to see my my pit and my dove you guys link up like that, man. That, that, man, was, that was an time. awesome vibe right there. What a time to be alive. Like, yes, man, indeed. We got a nice little... We got a nice little wager on the way. Like, uh, Moats was telling me you got that Jordan mentality, though, when you're out on the golf course. Hey. Bro, I got that Jordan mentality <laughs> out there. I don't know so. if that's going to be enough for the shot challenge, though, unfortunately. <laughs> I'll, I'll lose anything out there, you know? <laughs> yeah, hell, man. I, I'm excited, man. I saw you, I told him, I said, yo, you're a clutch performer. I said, man, I to- I said, uh, th- think of you like, you know how Clay Thompson be at times. You know he he could get cold, and it's like, yo, what's yeah. going on? But when he get hot, when it's game that, six, Clay, oh game man, six Clay. That's, oh that's my man, play. I seen that's game. I like to I've to. seen game six, TG. I've seen him come back. I've seen him say, you know what? I'm gonna bump and run twice right here to get in position, and then after that, I'm gonna lay it up on the green, and I'm gonna finish this putt in two. I've seen him do that. I walked next to the man when he did it. All the odds stacked against him. I was like, whoo. That just sounded like four shots right there. Hey, bro, all I'm saying is, man, my man, hey, hey, he had that look. I was like, yo, he for real. He for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Man, I was trying to win. Most Mm -hmm. had to calm me down a couple (laughs) times. (laughs) Hey, 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 Deke, my man, TG, he missed a shot. If he had a bad shot, I'm like, yo, it ain't that deep. Just get back in the car. In the car, we're going to drive up. Don't worry. He wanted to walk. He would oh, just yeah. walk. He's oh, like, yeah. no, I'm good. That's I'm going to just thing. walk, bro. Oh, yeah. That's a thing. Anytime I took a bad oh, yeah. shot, I'm going to get my own. Yep. Like, yeah. About. Yeah. I don't deserve the ride. Walking. I'm just going to walk. <laughs> I know that feeling. You know that feeling? You know how that is? Oh, yeah. No, that's a thing. That, that's 100% a yeah. thing. There's no okay. doubt about so, it. So, you know, that's the competitor. That's the exactly. Competitor you got to walk about. it off. Yo, that was you funny. Gotta... No, it, it was funny because, like, playing and watching TG, I'm like the exact opposite on the golf course. He's over here fired up. I can see his face. Like I'm like, yo, you gotta breathe, bro. You gotta relax. Yeah. And he's over here looking at me like, yo, you ain't tripping on that. Like that one a good shot right there. But I'm like, I don't care, man. It's just a shot, bro. Like I, I'm not a professional. <laughs> nah, man, you are a professional, and you always a professional. I'm like, no, this is all right. Tell me what you think. <laughs> so all the people out there, tell me what you. Think. And the chat, they can hear you. The chat got you. Yeah. Hey, look. So every, I was. Oh man, hold on, they man. Hold on, hold on. Go back, go back, go back. Oh, oh. You have went out for a second. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. You can hear me? Yeah. Every time I get to the green, I get close. They would hit me with the you're close to no. I'm like, no, my shot go win. You feel me? So like, when you, so I'm when it's club length. You when say gimme, right? When it's club length, it's gimme. And that's what you've I'm told like, me no, no, everywhere no, I've gone. No <laughs> He's better than us. I mean, this is unreal. He said, I want to see it go in every time. You take a gimme I'm when like, you can get it. That's what I was saying. But I mean so give me. Major respect for TG hey. for doing that, though. Yeah, I'm Wanting like, I want to see out. my shot. I want to see my shot go in, you know? Like, I understand I might be close enough, but this ain't close enough for me. You feel me? <laughs> You're better than 99% of the golfers out there. Hey, yo, he was so that. mad That's about respect. it, too. He, he, he started respect. to think about it. He was like, yo, y'all trying to trick me. See, if y'all never let me see my putt go in, then how do I know if I can even make a putt? We like, bro. How do I know if I can make a putt? Yeah, we like, never... man, you, you think about it too much, man. Come on, man. Just take the gimme and we just go move on, man. Did he miss any of those? <laughs> yes, he missed some of those. <laughs> That's why you take the gimme. But he's right. In terms of like practicing, so if like you have a competitive match coming up. Yeah. And sometimes people are stickler for gimmies. You just want to make sure you can putt those in pressure situations. You want practice. Okay. I get what he's saying. Fair enough. Fair enough then, man. All right. Uh, I do know. So talk to me, talk to me. What's the word? Hey, man. So look, man, you already know, man, we had a safety for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Just secure the bag. Mink Fitzpatrick, four fours at 73.6, 36 guaranteed up front for signing. Officially the new highest paid safety in the league, 18 mil per year. How you feeling about that one? I love it. I think, I think, honestly, I think it's a great deal for Minka. I think it's a great deal. 
for the Steelers. You know, like, I think, honestly, they got, I don't want to say a team-friendly deal, but I think a little bit it came team-friendly. Like, they didn't have to kill themselves to get the deal done. Mm -hmm. They got the deal done. And it's like, everybody's happy. You know, everybody's happy. He's not a highest-paid safety in the league, which is well-deserved. You know, uh, hey, it's a good deal. They didn't kill themselves. I think they still got enough room to go get uh, Deontay straight. Mm. So it's like it's a great business deal. It's uh, it's Omar's first first deal getting done in a sense as the GM. So I know he should feel good about that. So it's like it's a great deal. It's a good. I think it's good for everybody involved. You know. Now with the eighteen though, do you feel like he should have yeah. got more than that, or is that enough for him? I mean, it makes him the highest paid safety. Yeah. You know. And so he needed just day, that like, label, the highest paid safety. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> all I think right, it's right. the bragging right of saying highest pay <clears throat> is more than enough. You know, like mm. I just think that market and the safety position is just so minimal. Yeah. You know, like like them boys really not. You know, I'm a I'm a safety at heart. So you know, I, I'm always <laughs> big I safety rally. over here. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. I rally with my dog, <laughs> man. I just I see like a D lineman, you know, a premier D lineman get forty a year yeah. or thirty six a year. Yeah. You know, like. I see her, even a premier linebacker getting, what, 15, yeah. 16, you know what I mean? Like, I you, think Bobby you, you, over there getting, like, 20, 21. Bro, think, so about, are, think about a Deontay could get 18. He can get 20 yeah. as a receiver. Yeah. And that's, and that's not being rude, but that's as, like, the seventh or eighth as yeah. receiver. Yeah, You know, like, we're not saying the number one or number two. I think, what, Tyreek's getting, what, 50, 60 a year or 40 a year? Yeah, he gets uh, 30. Ridic- <laughs> something ridiculous. I wish it was. Yeah, like, so, 50. you know what I mean? To say, like, you get Minka at, what, 17 a year? Yeah. I think that's a great play for everybody involved. Like, I just think that's what you're looking for. Like, that's a that's a steal. That's a win. And not only is it a steal, it's a win. Um everybody's happy you get the label of saying you are the best receiver in the uh in the league yeah you know i mean that's i'm sorry best or best safety in the league. league yeah yeah you are the highest paid safety mm-hmm. right now in the league it doesn't matter what happens tomorrow it doesn't have you know it doesn't matter what happens with like maybe at, at least you got to say you did it at least you got to you say are. you had it man I, I hear you i hear you you know what i mean like it is a time where you are the highest yeah. paid safety in the league you know, so. So, are you uh, paying Deontay? What would be the max number you'd pay him? I would pay him. You know, He's, I would pay him. I don't know. I don't know that mark if that makes sense. Like, I don't know what. I think he's in the range of uh, cause what what we say Tyreek's getting thirty six a year. Yeah, he's getting thirty. Uh, was it Christian Kirk was the one that we were comping him to, and Kirk is getting like twenty. Devonte Adams is getting twenty eight, twenty nine. Yeah, I comp him to like a Christian Kirk, maybe a little bit more than Christian Kirk. Yeah, he can't Kirk, go he, there he's with the Devonte. one. But but Christian Kirk was the one that we thought messed up the market because he set the market crazy. Yeah, he, he market. that that deal that he got. You know, Deke pulling it up real quick. Hold on, he's got eighteen a year. Yeah, so it's Hill 18. at thirty, Devonte Adams twenty eight, DeAndre Hopkins twenty seven. Cooper Cup twenty six, AJ Brown twenty five, Diggs at twenty four, and then Shout you out got to Diggs. kind of the tier two starts to happen here with DJ Moore at twenty, Keenan Allen at twenty, Mike Williams at twenty, Mari Cooper at twenty, and then Kirk's at eighteen. Yeah, so where do where do you put Deontay in that conversation then? Eighteen to twenty, right? Hunter Renfro just signed for fifteen. Yeah, Allen Robinson put, just signed for fifteen as well. I put Devontae in that. I put him around that eighteen, seventeen, eighteen. Mm-hmm. Around that range, you know, I think you can. I think if you give them nineteen, that's not bad, mm. you know. But I think anywhere seven, seventeen to nineteen is okay. You're not touching twenty okay. though, because that's the franchise tag. If you don't pay him this year, and you decide that hey man, we want to keep you around for at least one more year, the tag starts at twenty because of um, Co- uh, was it Cooper Cups? He just signed when he signed his deal that set the franchise tag where it's going to be twenty mil per year or twenty mil for that year now. I mean, I guess you can give him 20 and not feel bad about that. Yeah. Because I'm saying as a player, right, think about this. If if you can get tagged and get 20, why mm-hmm. would you sign your deal for anything less than that, knowing that, hey, they're going to have to tag me or let me walk, and if I hit the open market, I'm going to hit even more anyways. That's why I just don't All think right. that he's going to take anything less than that 20 right now. All right. Um, I feel that, and I'm sure that's a strategic conversation that's being had. Yeah. 
uh, it's hard. To, it's hard to. I mean, it's nothing like a long term deal, you know. And yeah. I know everything is year to year. We live put that ring day. on it, man. Yeah, we live of the day of year to year in all reality. Even if you if you outplay your contract, these boys is asking for more the next year. If you underplay your contract, the, the team might ask you for a little bit less the next year, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's definitely year to year. But at the same token, just it's to get just that nothing guaranteed like money or something. It's, it's nothing like that security. It's security. It's nothing like yeah. you know, like even if I do have a bad year next year, can be a better year. If you I know? get like, hurt, I still got my yeah. money. Yeah, that's if I real. If I get hurt, I'm still I still got a building to come to. That's real. You know what I mean? I guess the interesting thing, and we were talking about this a little bit, is if how bad would you feel if you're the Steelers if you pay Deontay, let's say the 18, 19, 20 multi year deal. But then you see Pickens really emerge this rookie season, and you could also see Calvin Austin, the other rookie receiver we drafted, being a really good slot player and someone that you think will have a significant role going forward. It's just like, oh, wow, couldn't we have just put that 20, different body 18? Type. Mm. Different body type, different receiver type. Devon, Deontay is your – I don't mean to be rude, but Deontay is your eight. You know, Deontay is your – I'll catch a slant and take it six. Mm-hmm. Deontay is your I'll catch a dig make somebody miss and get another 10, 15 yards. Deontay's your, he's your playmaker. Mm. While Calvin's going to be more your slot type, more like your, uh, shout out my Tavon Austin's of the world. But more oh, like, yeah, days. salute, salute, salute. He's more like, that Tavon Austin, yeah. bro, you got to you know we, we hope We hope this no, Austin's a little better than him. I was about to say, man, that you put that on this man, bro. Stop. You, you know I had to do that. He's more like that type. He's more like your... I'm gonna get that clutch third down or that second and six. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come win this real quick. You know, like Cole Beasley type, Tavon type. He's more that type. Like that's who he's. That's his role. And um, the young boy, he's more that big receiver. Yeah. You know, a, equivalent to a Martavius back in the day. You mm. know, like he's more. Yeah. Talk he's more that, that playmaker. Nostalgia. Yeah. Throw it up. Throw it up on the goal line Ooh. if we need to. You know what I mean? Okay. Like. Third and six. Hey, I'm gonna hit you. Let's let's catch this. Mm-hmm. Like let's catch this. You might not get no more, but you a big frame. Yeah. You a big target. Just big you know, body boxing. Go. My old turn around. Go get yeah. It. yeah one of them. Be more like that type. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's a complete different personality type. When we say, you know, Deontay to those. So it's like I I don't think you can kick yourself for saying paying him. I don't think there's no negative in paying him. And also I feel like if you pay him. You kind of buy yourself time for these young boys to grow up, you know, because if you don't pay him, somebody's going to get paid in that receiver room, you know. Yeah. And next next up, who is what? Claypool. So Be it's Claypool. like to me, if you if you pay this, you allow yourself a chance to Claypool. Let's see what you're going to be or let's see if you're going who you're going to be or how you're going to act or if you're going to be this leader that you say you're going to be or just just the whole in general. It puts the pressure now over there well you if, know? You're, if you're deciding between those two guys right now because essentially that's what you would be doing who would you pick would you go with a Deontay, Deontay. over okay Deontay okay Deontay. not no no shots on Claypool Claypool is a good receiver I just think you have another one in this rookie that you just drafted mm. similar similar body type similar catch radius okay. similar catch frame uh they look at Claypool like the go get it guy like he gets a lot of the deep balls the mm-hmm. jump balls he gets a lot of those third and six big hitches, you yeah. know what I mean? Those digs, you know, those ten and ends. He gets yeah. those big boy routes. While Deon- Deontay gets more like the slants, mm-hmm. you know, bubble screens. Get him the ball um, early by the, yeah, by the line of get scrimmage, him the ball. let him work. Yeah. Almost like your punt returner. No, you know, your punt yeah. return on mm-hmm. too. Yeah. So he yeah. gets more like those type plays. Um, so I think you got another one of those coming, you know. So yeah. I, I I think you go with him, honestly, personally. That's that's my opinion. I like it. I like it. Well, going back to this, uh, the defense too, man. So with this deal with Mika, it officially makes the Steelers have the highest paid defense in the NFL. Now we know yeah. they weren't the best defense on the field last year. Um, statistically, they were the worst against the run. That's been talked about all offseason. Everybody knows this, but with this high payroll now with them having officially the highest paid defense in the league, what are your expectations for them? This season, um, I think I think the plan was, and I think we've said it all summer, and they've told us this through their accusations. They're gonna run the ball and they're gonna play defense. That's the plan, you know. 
They they went and got a linebacker. They drafted D-line. They paid the safety. They got that shirt up. You know what I mean? They got the defense happy, you know? You got T.J. Watt happy last year. You got Cam in there happy. You know, they waited on to it, but they drafted just in case. You know, they brought back a couple positions on defense. They went and got the corner position a little bit comfortable for the year. You could say that. So mm-hmm. I think the the name of the game this year is to run the ball. Because like I said, they went and got that O-line straight and they got this big draft pick, this first yeah. round draft yeah. running back last year. They said, that's my girl. I love her. They told us that last year. They told us that. So, oh, she they beautiful. Oh, yeah. That's the beautiful. one. She beautiful. I'm building this house for her. So it's like they're planning on running the ball and then they put all this money in the defense and they're trying to play defense. They even went and brought in a buyer for us to bring in more attitude to the defense. Let's go. So the name the name of the game is they're trying to run the ball yeah. and play defense. You, But they don't want they want to choke you out. They're trying mm, to get out of building. Yeah. 24 to 21. Yeah. 24 17. They not they don't want games to be 48 35. They're not looking <laughs> for that. They are looking for 24 21, 21 17, 21 14. They're trying to choke you out every week with this defense, you mm. know? And they're going to control the clock. They're going to yeah. run the ball and run the ball and run the ball and then play action and pump it and play action and dump it to one of, you know, one of these receivers. Man, you talking that talk over here, man. You got me fired up, TG. Come on, man. Come on, TG. You got me going, man. They don't win and got O-line all summer. Come on, shout out out to James Daniels, man. Shout out to James Daniels. Film session just dropped, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. If y'all haven't seen that, just make sure y'all check that. I had to plug it in real quick. Yes, indeed. But yeah, go, go. Keep keep talking your talk, though, man. Keep talking your talk. They got James Daniels. Shout out for shout out. No free shout out. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) but it's all like they trying to run the ball and play defense like the writing's on the wall so like they should have the highest paid defense they're bought in yeah like blitzberg the steel curtain i don't know what they want to name this one but they trying to put a name on this one like they putting pieces together on every level of that defense to bite you know like they want to bite they don't want you to come out here and get nothing you can see you can see and it's like to me, that's the heart of the team. You know, I, I, I said, like, I believe that's the heart. Like, that mm-hmm. D-line, that outside, Minka, even, I mean, we could call the linebackers, whatever, but I believe that whole defense is the heart of this team this year, you know, and they want to make make a statement every week. So, like, to me, that's, I think they're trying to do it like the 08 way, you mm-hmm. know, like, okay, yeah, a stout defense. Like, we could put this whole defense on the cover of the magazine. Like, yeah. you know, like, just... I'm here to play defense. That's what they look like. They telling us this year. No so, doubt. No doubt. Now, do you have any concerns though with the cornerbacks in terms of Akella Witherspoon and Levi Wallace, Cam Sutton and company in terms of no. who's proven that they could be the number one guy out there? I know we don't travel, but just no. what's your thoughts on that, man? It's not that type of system. You know, it's not that type of system to have to travel mm-hmm. and to have to do that. They, You know, Coach T want to run that cover, too. Oh, yeah. That match carry, deliver, fire zone mm-hmm. mentality. Keep so it too like, high the whole like, time, make it look the same. Keep it too high. Yeah. You know, you just bought this center fielder. We mm-hmm. just paid. We just gave a lot of money to the center fielder to say we love him. So you want him to get sideline to sideline. Yeah. He's looking. He brought Edmonds back. He has a couple other people in that safety position. You brought one in free agency that can cover a little bit. So you can see trying to formulate like uh, I, I think you're going to see him blitz a lot. And you're mm. going to see him blitz a lot and you're going to see it to where them covers, them corners don't have to just, you know, they read the first route. The they jumping on. Yeah, something. Yeah, just don't get beat. Yeah. You know, just don't get beat deep. Like yeah. play your position, tackle well. You don't have but to that be ball uh, coming out fast. It has to. That ball got to yeah. come out. You yeah. still got the what league league and sack. Yeah, sack, cover, you know what I mean. It's like well, and shoot, the Steelers have led out. the league in sacks since twenty seven. Was it twenty seventeen? I think it is, man. So yeah, with that, that's definitely the case, man. They're they're going to try to heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how them conversations go. Coach T gonna hit you with the hey. When we blitzing you guys, it's not just man to man coverage on the back end. It's man to man coverage up here too. Yeah, we got one on one. You got to win your I, yeah. That double I move that he, he got hit with, that's on you. Yeah. You want to win that battle from up front mm-hmm. to where it's like you don't have to sit there and cover all day. That's not the plan. We're not. He's not coming in there to cover all day. Like he's just trying to be able to. I don't want to say hold up, but hold up. Yeah. But it's not like these are bad corners. Like no, no, not, not at all, not at all. Yeah. I don't want to sound like that. Like Witherspoon went what third round? Like 
these are guys. And still you finished know, the like, year really strong last year too, man. Yeah, he was played well. And it's man. like he get a he get a summer to really get better, you know, to he know the system a little bit better, maybe a little bit more comfortable, you know, where he can cheat some yeah. stuff, learn some stuff. I'm sure he felt comfortable enough with those corners to not even bring back a Joe Hayden. So it's mm, like yeah. he had to feel a little bit, yeah, he had to feel a little bit comfortable. There's stuff in there that everybody don't see that he may see in practice, mm. you know. So it's like, you know, I think I don't think he's concerned with that. I think he feel like he got a very stout defense. I'm sure that'll be the part of the defense that he puts pressure on in Latrobe a lot, you yeah. know. He see you stand up, but he, he he trying to win up front. He gonna blitz them boys, yeah. you know. <laughs> he gonna have to heat it up, man. You know he's gonna heat him yeah. up. And that's what he wants that, anyways. This coach T we talk about. Yeah, that blitz coming. You know, that blitz coming. Like he's gonna let TJ be TJ for sure. I'm sure he's not gonna have him stunting but so much. But that blitz coming, you know. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> nah, I like it. I like it. So with that being said though, man, last one I have for you. We were talking about Boz and <laughs> Deontay. Yeah. Because Boz also needs to get his contract done. That's he he's gotta be on this list. So we were saying, man, because of you know, Boz looking at a more of a four for twenty, four for twenty five potentially, just based on what J uh what Justin Tucker got a year or a couple years ago. Who no. do you pay first, man? Or are you paying Boz right now? I think you're trying to work this Deontay out. He's number one next he gotta up get, on the list. He gotta be next on the list. Okay. He's next on the list. If you can figure Boz, I just not to be rude. I think Boz is elite. Mm -hmm. I think he's elite, you know. Um, I think a kicker is a vital part of your team. Like yeah. I've seen teams, I've seen teams really struggle without a kicker. I remember that year in Seattle, they went through like yeah. three, four, five kickers. Yeah. So it's like I mean, you was here, are, you was here for the Scoby. You you you, was, I, you, you was, I remember it. You experienced I've the Scoby. It. Come on, man. I've seen it. I've Come seen on, some crazy man. things happen. Yeah, you so use that like, for that. Yeah, yeah. A kicker is essential. You can keep a kicker for 10, 15 years. I think Boz is a very team friendly player and mm. i think the team loves boz and boz loves the team uh shout out danny smith i think he shows him a lot of love he takes yeah. care of him very well so i don't see boz giving them a lot of problems if mm. that makes sense yeah you know i think you got to figure this out with deontay like i think it's a lot of no i don't want that no mm. i won't take that even similar to how you just said why would i take 19 when i can get 20 next yeah. year you know so it's a little bit more working things out with him. While I think Boz is kind of not no, and I'm not saying he's not a businessman, but I think you can throw something nice at him, and he's gonna come ahead and come home. Yeah, you know, like he don't have to get the whole kitchen. Like he can yeah. figure that out. You know, but Deontay does get paid this off season though, for for uh, in terms of like how you view, he will get paid this off season. I just think he's the priority to get paid. You know, if we can't work it out, we just gonna go through the season. Okay. I'm sure he'll get franchise tag next year, but okay. he has a long time before he can try to make a move for himself yeah. to get hit that market. So it's like, I'm sure he has a little bit of leverage, but he only has the so much leverage, yeah. you know? It's and right, then, unless like, he doesn't show up. I think that's where it would start to show yeah. But then that gets nasty. We you just, draft, you just yeah. drafted two young boys. That's like, tough to do. <laughs> Yeah, you proceed probably, with caution. Hey, this is the Steelers. Hey, like, proceed with drafted, caution. You just drafted two babies, like, yeah. and you know, one of them look like I'm not even about to say both of them look like they can go. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, you just I, I seen it firsthand. TG, they they could go. They could go. TG, you they don't want to. Yeah, you don't never really want to let too many people see what it's like without. <laughs> <you know? Yeah. laughs> That's good. <laughs> like, That's you good. know, like. You know, I never really just wanted to get too loud. Hey, like, yo. Don't like, even want to see okay. him, man. No. Yeah, life is okay without you. Oh, like, man. You, you always want to know, question what it's even like without you. So <laughs> as long as they, you know, right now it's like such, I don't know what it's like without you. But you yeah. don't want to let them get too comfortable in there. Yeah. So I, think, I just think in Pittsburgh, I've, I've always said this, you have to show. It's not one of them programs that you can get it done by not showing up yeah. like i think you have to show up that's the business model mm -hmm. like i said i've seen tj show up i've seen minka show up all year we said you know? ab showed up man ab showed up everybody you shows up man you gotta show yeah. up and then we'll figure the rest out later yeah. but you can't the holdout don't really work in pittsburgh yeah. like. we've seen like the holdout to me is in seattle it works we've seen cam chance yeah. we've seen marshawn we've seen those dudes that work out like that but not here in pittsburgh we yeah you gotta it's be in the building they want to see you they need to see it yeah. 
it's no disrespect to no other program, yeah. but it's just the Steeler Nation is just so much of uh, the more you can do. So they're already always grooming somebody to be your pro to say anyway. You know, well, you your say ne- next man up, next man up yeah. anyway. So it's like they're always seeing what it's like without you, no matter what, even when they're, when they're with you. Yeah. To where you don't want to just give them the freedom of totally without you all summer, like to where they just mm. get that comfortable. Yeah. You know, and it's like, I mean, I've seen AB leave the building, like, and that, I, you know, how I feel, yeah. I feel like that was the best receiver in the league for years. I seen them let an AB leave the building, like nobody's bigger than, mm-hmm. you know. So, I think you got to show up if I'm him, if I'm his people. You know, I'm definitely using that leverage of, you know, next year we can get 20. But then we starting to talk about these 19 to 20. It's like, come on now, I don't mean to be wrong, but a mil's a mil. That's not that that's little money. Yeah, but. Yeah. The security of that money, like, I just think you go ahead and lock in and yeah. get comfortable. You know, go buy you a house. Yeah. Get comfortable, you know? Nah, I could so. dig it, man. I could dig it. Hey, man, we're always a blast for having you on. You already know this locker mate. We're going to keep running this thing up, all right? You already always know, baby. Know, yeah. We got to hey, talk hey. about these linebackers, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, try, try. If it wasn't for Minka's deal getting done, that was on the docket for today. But yeah, when he got the man. deal done, I said, oh, yeah, man, this this is, yeah, the people need to hear you know, about the deal. This is what they want to talk you know, right I now. I see some stuff offline. Uh, you you sent me some, back. you shot me I'm the like, DM. You definitely I'm did. Like, <laughs> my words need to be heard on this hey, hey, hey. I don't like All, all I'm going to say is this, though. The DM you shot me, that list, it, I liked it. You know why no, I, I liked like it. it. I like that you know list. I didn't like it. That list felt real, real good to me. That's all I'm going to say. But we're going to talk about write, that. I need you to write down your five. Hey. Hey, brother, write, everybody write down their five and uh, we'll talk about My oh, five is going to be the best. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Deke going to have some heat for you now. We're going to have a five. He got his five? Deke going to have his five. Have your five do, right, it's bro. middle linebacker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Off ball. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, In because fact, we'll do middles and then we'll do outside. Oh, we'll no. Facts. Facts. We're going to. Look, look. We do this. This is what Come we on. do. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. So no worries about that. And. And you know, I still need to get your Mount Rushmore because we were talking about <laughs> that. So we talked about it on this show. <laughs> Me and you talked about it on my other radio show, but we ain't get you on this one just yet. We ain't do that just yet. You know what I'm saying? You gotta talk. We gotta yeah. talk. Yeah, yeah. So 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 we got plenty that we're gonna come back and get with you. On. Yeah, we gotta talk about that. yeah. We're gonna have plenty that we're gonna need to get with you on, man. But I will uh, say this, man. We got um a couple of people in the chat, man. Well, actually, a lot of people in the chat, man, showing you major love as they always do when you pull up. But official momentum, guys. official momentum. He says TG's the goat. And he also I tells to tell you, it. hello. So, <laughs> shout out to Official Momentum. Shout out to UTG, man. We appreciate you as always, Locker Mate. And I get you with you. I get with you again next week, baby. Hey, it's always love, man. My dog. Peace, bro.